speed up the Ferrari. And the wheels go, uh, go ahead of me sometimes. And he shakes the car. You know what? It, the, the stereo can be stereo. The radio can be so loud. But you still not hear it. You guys are. You guys, now, now I'm going to brag on Miss Vicky. She used to drive a big old 18 wheeler. Yeah, I drove an 18 wheeler, but I also had a Pinto. And what would you like better? Uh, olive green. Mine was a uh, uh, light blue. And that, that car is very today. It costs a lot of money. But really, mine ran like a champ. I used to work on it myself. Well, Bill, he has a BMW, Volvo, and Mercedes garage, but he'll also work on Pintos. I think I've seen a Pinto in 30 years. Well, you've got to use different wrenches on a Pinto. Well, it's so. Uh, because mine is already a total restore. And so we have big tires, chrome wheels, and they have every good stuff. And is it red? I know, olive green. Olive <laughs> green. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know how I work on pinos? Ah, uh, then yeah. tell me about it. Cutting torch. I cut it in four sections and throw it in the back of the garbage truck. Oh, that, that's pretty bad, because <laughs> it's one of the best cars. That hurtful, huh, George? Oh, man. It hurt Victor and uh, Miss Victor. It hurt my feelings. feelings. Well, anybody that brags about a panel like that, I don't know. Maybe they need to get their feelings hurt a few times so they get a different car. Well, hey, that's what I can afford. To, hey, nobody's rich like you. No, man, selling a million hearing aids, you ought to be able to go get yourself a nice little Ferrari or something. Now, it's not the price of the Ferrari, it's the maintenance of the Ferrari is not worth it. I'll agree with that. Yes, George, go ahead. Lori just said you posted some pictures or something of a fire. How close is that to you? No, that was my son. That was my son's house out in Hemet. Yeah, they uh, they were here all day, like I told you, you know, the pool party. And when they left to go home, uh, yeah, they drove up and there were those phosphate big old airplanes dropping that, that red crap all around out right around where, he, where his house is. Oh, man. But he's okay. I mean, he didn't have to evacuate or anything, or? Well, they told him to evacuate, but he did it. And, uh, you know, they stayed there. He's, he's on two and a half acres out there, horse country.